Hello, hello, hello. Okay, uh, hi everybody, my name is Rossi Rocksoft. .com, and today we're going to do the review. Now, today review we're going to review G OS. Now, it's looks uh, it's similar to uh, Mac OS Leopard. It been, it was released in um, going to this in in November first, two thousand seven. So I don't know about seven, eight, nine, ten. So I don't know, like five years ago. And currently, right now, it's discontinued. They don't make it anymore. I mean, you can still you uh, they still offer it. You can still down, download it, but for some reason, they don't offer it anymore. Now, I grabbed the two version. I grab I have the space one in this in like this one. So I think we're going to install the space one because it it's uh it's mostly it's say space one is more similar to uh, the um to Mac. Excuse me. It sort of looks like looks like this. Hmm. Actually, I wonder if I change the background to like one of those Mac products. Uh, well, maybe, maybe maybe we can do it in the future. No, since it's still downloading, I'm just started downloading the space one. Yeah, I I also download. Uh, the reason we're running Windows Vista on this computer because uh. Uh, currently, right now, I can't operate to Windows 7. I mean, somebody can generally give me a Windows 7 license key for, I don't know, um, somebody can give me a Windows 7 license key. If, if, if any of our generous person can give me a license key, it's, uh, I'll be more than happy to upgrade it. I mean, I do have Windows uh, 7 on my other computer, the one that I did review with, um, the one that I made the, the repair review, the remote access review video. It'll be, it'll be good to use, but see, uh, this machine's not that powerful. I mean, I do have powerful machines. I mean, I do have a a really powerful desktop and a laptop, which is only like four months old. Yeah, so yeah, Intel Core uh, two. Yeah, so if anyone can offer me a Windows Seven license key, I'll be more than happy to take it. Or if you can, just email me and whatever you know. Uh, actually, I'm going to pause because I just want to review the. Um, I also have the this one. I, I actually had it for a few days already. I did get a chance to test it out, but I I remember a few years ago I was doing this rev uh, testing out Linux distribution because one of my um, customers he had this really old, really old, old machine. I think it's like ten years old or whatever it was. And he told me to uh, find an operating system that's going to fit him perfectly. So I bought this huge stack of disks, like a hundred disks, whatever, I don't know, for ten bucks. And I was testing one uh, of actually it was DVDs. I was like uh, downloading them and testing it out, see which one was going to fit him the best. And basically, the one the one that he likes the most was uh, Ubuntu. Nothing was the really old one. He still uses it. I still communicate with him. He's like one of my old friends. I used to. Um, Now this operating system it's based on Ubuntu, I, I believe, because um, they give they also give you a feature to upgrade to Ubuntu. Uh, well, we're just going to see how this review will end up. I mean, they, at one point they also offered to sell you a nap a netbook with this operating system in it. Huh, maybe actually I will buy a netbook and probably like pop it in, you know. Hmm, actually, that could be fun because currently netbooks are really cheap right now. You can get them for like I don't know, like for like a hundred hundred fifty bucks, like from eBay or something like that. I'm going to pause this video because there's no point of me uh, blabbing. Okay, yeah, one more thing. The only reason I would recommend you get Linux, um, Linux Mint, any Linux dis distro, well, is if your machine is a few years old, then I would get Linux. If it if it's able to run a Windows XP, um, well, most of the times currently you can get Windows XP for I don't know. Well, if you compare this one to this is a, a Apple, I mean the Mac operating system. This is a Macintosh. Uh, it, it definitely looks similar, you know. Uh, I'm kind of surprised there was no lawsuit from uh, Mac, you know, because those guys would sue these guys. Well, it sort of does look similar, but. Hmm. 
And by the way, this, this is the old edition. This is the uh, yeah. This is actually the old one. They have a, a upgraded version. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to keep this window open. I just wonder, like you know, um, huh, this, is, this could be a really interesting review. Hopefully, I won't get sued by you know, by Mac or whatever, or by this company. Actually, this company that discontinued the product, so they won't go after me. Uh, even though my speed fast connection, I still have to wait 15 minutes for this thing to finish the downloading. And I'm waiting. I have a, I'm free for a day. Then I have to get back to doing what I do best. <sighs> Man. Yeah. So like I said, if somebody has a Windows 7 copy, and I wanted Home Edition or Premium, Home ed Home Premium, I'll be more than happy to take it from you. If somebody can be generous to, to uh, donate it to me. I'll, I'll really appreciate it. I don't want to. I don't want to download the legal copy because I don't want to. I don't want to be sued by Microsoft. I don't want to deal with BitTorrent or anything else. It'll be great. <sighs> oh boy, that took forever. Okay, since it's finished uh, downloading, it's 768 uh, megabytes file. It's pretty big. Well, it's an operating system. It's supposed to, it's supposed to be big. Okay, let's. Um, I'll copy it here and let me open my VMware uh, workstation. Um, let's change this to. Uh, um, space. Um, yeah, with other. Yep. 8 gigabytes. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. I f forgot to read these packs. Um. Ah, screw it. Actually, um, hmm. actually, where I want to do an ins. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, I want. I want to do an installation. See how it works. You know, how it, how it works out. It looks cool, you know. Let me. Um, it looks okay. I mean, I, I used to. I uh, my mom she uses this operating system on one of her computers. Well, I just don't want her to like you know, it's f uh, fiddle with viruses. You know, that's why I installed it on her on her computer. She used to have like Windows uh, uh, this this I think. Um, hmm. Let's see. I mean, this, this program is great. You know, um, you can run Skype on it. I hope, hopefully, you can. I mean, it's it's kind of sad that this uh, they, they discontinue it. Oh, I wish they would still uh, like um I wish they would still like work on it but you know for some reason probably because of the no one uses it that's why they discontinued. I mean like uh there's so many w uh, Linux distributions trust me if I go like uh, right now to um, oops let me minimize this if I go right here to uh there's so many of them you can find uh for some Linux Oops, wrong one. The full list of Linux dis dis distributions you can like you know get, and most of them are for free. You know, yeah. all all those are free. And actually, I I had to make I kind of hate and love Linux at the same time. The reason I, I oops, it's kind of weird. The reason I like Linux. Plus, you don't need a lot of resources to run, and plus, you know, it's um, plus it's free. You know, like Windows, you have to like, if you uh, if you have if you don't like like Windows XP, it probably say, oh, this copy is not legit or something like that. You know, some crap. Oh. I'm sorry, that is the um, the the Google whatever, <laughs> not the Google. I mean the um, Mac version. Oh my God, this thing is huge. Hopefully, hopefully, again to size. Hmm. 
pretty much I think that's it, that's how I install this operating system. My mouse is really messed up. I mean, it definitely looks like, it reminds me, it, it definitely like reminds me of uh, Windows. I mean, the Mac, you know, Mac, Mac operating system. I mean, it definitely, whenever I look at it, it's like Mac. I guess it's going to be a real quick review. Yes, Facebook. Um, and basically, these, these like these, these things are like apps, you know. It has Facebook. Um, man, it's very confusing. Facebook news, photo, videos, music, TV, tools, fun, mo mo mode, clock. Um, I don't know things like a draw program, quotes, and a recycle bin. No, for fun, let's click on TV. Yeah, this little thing pops out, and it has like these apps, you know, NBC, Hulu, Hulu, uh, Hulu TV, Hulu, TV, Hulu uh, Funcast, you know, CBS, and for music, probably. Yeah, uh, hmm. I think it's great. Yeah, probably for video, probably have like YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Let me click on YouTube. I'm pretty sure it's going to bring you to a regular browser. Now, if we like scroll scroll up, actually, you know what? We're going to I'm going to try to install it right now. You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to mess with any sign. I'm going to try to install this this um, yeah, it's extremely slow on this computer. I probably am going to pause and probably add more reason. Um, yeah, let me pause this video. I'm going to try to add more uh, stuff to this computer. All right, I added a f uh, 500 uh, something um, megs of RAM because it was extremely slow. And it couldn't handle it. What is this open in the background? No, oh, it's one of those. Uh, actually, let me close uh, my Google, uh, this thing. Um, Excuse me. Now, probably, probably, uh, pretty much going to buy a public like, operating system. Probably, pretty much going to probably bring it to work or to school or whatever. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to probably show some t some of these people at work. I'm pretty sure they're going to be they're going to like it. It's like a rip off of the. Uh, I should say a rip off because on this um, rip off of Mac operating system. Yeah, I'm using uh, Cam Studio to make reviews. Oops. Okay, right now it works much better and much faster. Before it was extremely slow. So, yeah, I'm still. I apologize for that. It can't fit in my computer for some dumb reason. It's my fault. Well, hopefully it is. Um. Yeah, there's not there's much nothing I can do, but hopefully we can do some settings here. Now I'm going to show you the installation, you know, because maybe you guys can try. It. I mean, it definitely looks like like Mac, you know, because also Mac has these little things on the side. Uh, forward. Um, ready to install once you're into question. Yeah, definitely ready to install. They have, they have all different languages. Since I'm Polish, I'm not going to mess with that because I can't even read Polish. Yeah, I am in New York. Because it, it can also run on live CD. Uh, hello. It can also run on uh, from live CD. Now this thing I will never do installing and uh, showing guys how I install an operating system, but you know, so this is kind of fun.
I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna name a name. Hmm. This could be fun. It definitely reminds me of you know Apple computers of Mac. Whenever whenever I look at the bottom it it definitely like I, I I'm thinking of Mac right now, you know. I don't know, there's nothing I can do because it's really, you know, big. For some reason it doesn't fit. But you know, most of the programs for now these days, you could, you can run in uh, in Linux distro, you know, like for example, like the most popular programs I use is, uh, um, I use Skype, Firefox, uh, pretty much, and that's it, and maybe like, Flash. Well, most people use Flash. I mean, the most programs I use, they are supportive in in, in Linux. I mean, if you use, if you're running Ubuntu on your computer, you could use 100%. You could run um, those are other operating systems. Now let's see. Um, I'm going to public pause because it's pretty much is boring.